Hey y'all, I'm back with um, February book haul. Yay, yay, yay. Um, anyway, so the first book I got was Made For You by Melissa Mayer. So this whole reason I got this is definitely because of the cover. And I've heard of Melissa Mar before. And I was like, hmm, I don't think I own any of her books. And I was like, you know what? I will try with this one. So we shall see um, what it's like. And I actually don't like the praise for use, just as a caveat, because usually it's just people that are, they're paying to get, like, reviews for. Anyway, I just don't like them. So I never actually listen to that part. I just actually go online and research it versus reading it or I just read it myself because that's always the best way. Okay, so I am starting to get this trilogy. It's a new The Lost Voices. So this is The Twice Lost. It's the third one, I believe, in the trilogy. Yes, it is. It's the third one in the trilogy. So I always start with getting whatever I can find for whatever price I can get it at. And um, before I start like, so I got the third one. So now I'll start with the third one, but I won't read it until I get all three, of course. But um, I was just like, this is a new start. It has mermaids, which if you, okay. One thing about me, I totally believe in mermaids because the fact that it's a legend throughout all of history, like we're talking China, Austria, I mean not Austria, any of the seafaring nations along the coasts, both um, the, the United States and the other what the Europe and Asia and all the any that where along the coast you'll always hear stories about mermaids and even if it is just a sea cow which it probably could be I still am like well the fact that it's out there means it's probably true like dragons could be to have been dinosaurs at one point so just just saying that so I'm like always intrigued by mermaid things okay the next one I got is no Man is an Island by Thomas Merton. So this is a um, Pope. A Pope. Anyway, I just, I, he's a great author, very heady, but I was like, you know what? I need to start branching out, reading more than just young adult, because really that is what I read most of the time. Um, but I wanted to start branching out, which if you've noticed on my feeds, I've definitely started to branch out. The next one I got was another Thomas Merton, um, which is the Seven Story Mountain. And it is another um, reason why I got this to branch out. Um, and then another Thomas Merton book. Definitely, this one has like a collection of his works. So I'm just like, hmm. And it didn't have those two because those two are huge. And this is like just the same size as those. Anyway, so I'm just like, why not? Anyway, so the next book is a... <laughs> another Thomas Martin. I, I kind of went crazy with Thomas Martin. Um, and I just was like, why not more Thomas Martin, more, um, knowledge for me. Um, the next one I got was Soulmates, Honoring the Mysteries and Love and Relationships by Thomas More. Um, just so we all know that I am single. Um, but I like to read about relationships because it allows me to be a better person. Um, not only, um, with my friends, but also with my family, it allows me, even though I don't have a soulmate as of now, um, it helps me be a better person and I like being a better person. I don't know about you. Um, next one I got was The Death of the Outrage by William J. Bennett. So I love William J. Bennett. He's one of my favorite authors of all time because he wrote The Book of Virtues, which I literally grew up on. I watched the TV show and I read the book all the way through. Definitely just the stories that he teaches and I'm just I'm like, why not? Why not read William J. Bennett? Because he just, he really is a very smart man and his, um, his Book of Virtues is like one of the all-time favorite things for children to read because it allows, it takes mythology and makes it so that they can understand different truths in life, like trusting your friend when they tell you not to do something. Um, that one's the one that always sticks out to me is, um, it's where the hawk um, tells him not to drink the water um, because it's poisoned. And, but the person doesn't believe is like, stop that. I don't need to listen to you. Stop that. I don't need to listen to you. And on the third time he kills his friend, which was the hawk. But you get the point. It's like, 
there was a reason why that he was doing this. Anyway, besides the point, that is why I love William J. Bennett because he makes every uh, virtue easy for childhood children to understand and adults. Uh -huh. Okay, so this one I definitely got because of the picture. Look at that. Look at the corset. It's so beautiful. I actually own a very similar one to this. It's a black one, but, um, and I just like the way that Bella Cora, or Bella Cora, um, I just love novels and I love the pictures that they always display and I was like "Ooh, this looks like an intriguing read I can't wait to start it but definitely that is why I got it because of this picture um so great marketing on that and then I got the fourth book finally of the city of the fallen angels which or not city of the fallen the mortal instruments but it's called city of the fallen angels whatever you know me anyway so I was just like Yes, maybe I'll actually start the Mortal Instruments. Um, probably won't because I have a long list of stuff that I'm currently reading. I actually looked at it today. It's like 10 books that I like currently have going on because I get bored with one and then I switch off and then I'm like, Ugh. but I, this is on my goal to read this year. I, my goal is to read all of the Mortal, to, mortal Instruments this year. Um, don't know if that'll happen. I'll at least read one, maybe two, hopefully all five um, of this series. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my book haul. Um, if you liked the video, subscribe. If there's anything you think I should read or review, um, just let me know down in the comments and y'all have a great day.